Now the first thing that is popping in the news is based on a picture and a video that I got and in this video it is of a missing 14 year old. Her name Kerry K-E-R-R-Y slash K-K-I-S-O-O-N Kison. Based on the information it is said that she is from a place called Effortville District that is in Maypen, Maypen, Clarendon to be specific. Now people, this girl has been missing from the 4th of November 2021, 17 days or so. Now people, just to give you a backstory, I received a video the other day and in this video there was a girl that looked kind of young, could not tell her age. However, based upon the fact that she was in the video and this video was obviously been recorded by the person that is doing all sorts of S-C-X-U-A-L stuff to her, meaning that him of her pan all fours, pan her knees, pan her hand, pressed on her face upon the floor, and then he was behind her doing his thing. Now people like me say, I could not tell the age, I did not know the back story, the underlying story behind all of this. However, what I saw based on this video is that this girl did not seem as if she was up to it. She looked like she was forced. She looked like she did not have much choice in the situation and people. Like me say, I don't know how to measure a next man thing. However, people, the man looked kind of blessed. Him kind of thick. Him kind of strapped in. And she, she is very slim. She is petite. She kind of maga and people, she is a typical 14 year old based on the fact that looking at the person in the video and then a picture that I got or some sort of missing report that I got saying that this is the same person. When I do the comparison, the eye test, if I was to bet, I would say that it is her. So people, like me say, in this video, this man was obviously recording it this man was obviously having the time of his life so it leads me to believe that if a man would actually take her a little picnic and then have her somewhere some unknown destination for x amount of days two weeks or more and then he is doing this to her every day because people like me say I couldn't tell the age, however, just based on how the man a man angle the girl, I talk about him a cock her up, jack her up, and people I know that the parents or friends or guardians don't want to hear this. However, this is a reality channel and we speak things as we see them because we are trying to get some sort of conclusion, some sort of somebody that might know this person. Now people. There was also a next video that I got and in this video it shows dancehall artist Wickerman and he was talking about the situation about all the crime and violence in Jamaica and there was also Bujabantan in the background saying that the people need to send out the man because they know exactly who he is. So people I am going to show you a snippet of this video and then we will get back to the story. Sin, yo, push him out. yo, yo, Mr. Man, the man that we have the people and 14 year old girl, push him out. And I rip the girl star, bring back the people and pick the star. We can't deal with them thing no more. I hear that thing we not deal with. Sin, you know, see on the make on the bridge and I cry. You see, I look a girl from Instagram when I push him out, you know, yo, push him out, yo, what that. Jamaica, what that? No, we can't take this no more. Now, people. Obviously, we know that this man has neighbors, or I would assume that he's not living in some isolated place based on the video that I have. We saw that there was some sort of concrete stairs going upstairs, and then there were all sorts of, look like some sort of chemical. So therefore, this was not any sorts of abandoned building. It looks like a man that him have him place in order. He has 
psychological, mental, evil problems. However, he did not look any kind of crazy man, psycho man, based on how we are penetrate the place or the place look. So this leads me to believe that this man more than likely, this is not his first go around. It leads me to believe that this girl, since the day this man hold this girl, he has been doing all sorts of things to her and people like me say, little girl, petty, this man big and strapped in and what women would call bless. So therefore, you know that this little picnic must have been in a whole lot of pain because it is like trying to force a big square into a little circle if you know exactly what I am speaking about. However, what is very disturbing, like I said, is the fact that this man had the camera. You can tell when somebody else is videotaping some sort of crime because the video kind of moves up and down. With this, it seems as if this man had this video focus on the action of him and the girl. And also, whenever he moved, you would see maybe to his chest, maybe to his shoulder. But at no point in this video, and this video is maybe about two minutes long, and people, you could tell that it's like a picnic in a whole heap of agony, meaning P-A-I-N. However, you did not see his face, so therefore it seems as if this man felt as if he was some sort of P-O-R-N star. This man was having the time of his life with this little picnic. This man obviously has been doing this for a very long time. So people, when we see all his little pitney being missing, we can only come to the logical conclusion, or people at least, that is the conclusion that I am coming to, that there are at least one or a few S-E-R-I-A-L people where jump over people, fence or a tech with people. And people, this video proves my point. Now people, when we think about the fact that the relevant authority, the picnic advocacy group and the popo, how are they going to really solve these crimes? Had it not been for social media other than when the family or friends went in and made some sort of missing person report, the popo would not have anything. So I say this to say that Social media, we have to use social media as a thing for kind of get information out there so people can know. And people, based on the fact of this little picnic's age and based on the fact that all sorts of things are shown that a mother or a family member or friend would not want to see. However, people, we are faced with some sort of dilemma. If this video does not go out, and somebody that knows him had some sort of experience, even if it was unwillingly, they did not know the type of person he was. That person, without seeing the face, just seeing his body structure, seeing his arm, seeing the kind of watch or whatever he has on, seeing even if this person, meaning a female arm, I don't know if I have SCX with male also, she would recognize the distinctive look on people like me say, I am not in the business of matching up people things, but just as I say, just for clarity for the video. So people, what do you think I should do? Do you think I should wait on the relevant authorities to solve this case? Because this girl has been missing for in excess of 17 days to the other 21st. So 17 days of agony, and we see that this man is not easing up. This man I deal with this girl in my ex or on a cross or he was acting as if he was dealing with some sort of animal and people. We are speaking about A B U S E S E X U A L L Y. It is as or it was as bad as I've ever seen and people have seen a whole bunch of stuff. Now people, when we think about situations like this, as a parent or just as a decent person in a society. And we see that all of these things are out there on social media, in the news. And most of the times, these people, they get away with it. Most of the times, we're not going to find these young girls and people. 
I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but when I think about a situation like this, and I think about just this one video, this two minutes of this video that I've seen, and I am sure that this is not the first time based on the fact that this man think that he is some sort of P.O.R.N. producer. This man was having the time of his life. I am sure that this is not the first time. So I say this to say that when this gets out there, the relevant authority, if and when they catch this man, he know or he should know that justice video alone is so incriminating. He will not be seen a next day of his natural life in the free world. So therefore, what do you think this man is going to do? And people like me say, we should never give hope, give up hopes. However, people, like I've always said, hope for the best and also expect the worst. So people, when we think about people like this and the fact that in some cases they are acting in groups and people, I am not saying that that is the case in this case. Me just I say, more than likely, somebody knows. If I put out this video, somebody is going to recognize this man. Somebody is going to recognize this place. So what should I do? Should I send it to the relevant authority whose arms are basically tied behind them because of resources, because of lack of effort, and because of lack of knowledge of investigating most of the crimes that are in Jamaica? Because people, let's face it. A lot of these people that work in these places, they have no sorts of investigative skills. They have no sorts of source. They have no sorts of nothing. So had it not been for bloggers like myself, a lot of these crimes in Jamaica would basically go unpunished. A lot of these people that are perpetuating all sorts of crime and violence in Jamaica, they would also go unpunished. So people, me just I say, when we see stuff like this on a daily basis in Jamaica and we see say, as some big tick man that are doing these things and sometimes in some cases them have family, them have wife, them have kids. However, they live some sort of double life. They have some sort of weird fetish, some sort of evil or demonic fetish and people, they are taking it out on people. Pickney. So just imagine how this mother feels to know that her daughter has been missing for in excess of two weeks, 17 days if my maths is correct. Just imagine when the mother hears that there's a video out there that is saying that this man is doing this and doing that. However, people, the disturbing truth is that now we're left with a couple of options. Try to solve this, find this girl, find this man and give this man the justice that he truly deserves. Because people, I not tell you, no sorts of lie. No sorts of pitney should be going through this. No sorts of family should be experiencing this. Missing a little 14 year old, them pitney especially, a mother and a father. Now people, when you think about stuff like this, it is obvious that the relevant authority in Jamaica it is either they don't know, it is either they don't have the capabilities, meaning the investigative powers, meaning the knowledge, because the truth and the fact is that you need information in order to carry out any sorts of investigation. So I say this to say that we see that a lot of things are happening in Jamaica and everybody basically mind their own business. They mind other person's business when it is not necessary. However, when a child is in need, whenever a victim is in need, there is no sort of response. Everybody acts as if they are going around in life in a Jamaica with their eyes wide shut. So therefore, them see and them see and them blind, them ear, them ear and them deaf. However, when it comes to mix up and pass up pass up and people business that is not necessary, them be a all over the place. So I say this to say that if you as a resident, a legal, law-abiding, tax-paying citizen in a Jamaica see stuff and quiet him out, don't say anything because you know I inform and people, let me make the term informer very clear again. You cannot be an informer if you are not a part of a crime. If you are not one of those persons that are conspiring in any sorts of crime. If you are a legal 
law-abiding taxpaying citizen that want better for your country you have to talk because if you not talk these poor poor like me say when they are not lazy they are lack of information they cannot go forward unless everybody the whole community the whole country the whole district everybody come together and assist and people this girl needs to be out of the situation that she is in because people it is not healthy psychologically physically whichever way you want to think about it it is very traumatic for this little picnic point blank and period so people me just I say we need to do exactly what we need to do to get this one solved point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up